Welcome to Notes HD, the most comprehensive note-taking application available for your iPad. If we bring up our keyboard, we're actually able to type here some notes into the actual area of our screen. And then from here, we're going to be able to edit the style of our notes once we have our header in. You see, we can change it from a title, we can change our text color, even the orientation of the text, all from these menus right here, by hitting the magic wand button in the top of our keyboard. Here we can adjust the font size, we've got a bolded, and we've even adjusted the orientation to the center. Now if I go ahead and hit return and bring my text back into the middle, I can even change the style of the next sentence of text. So here I've got a regular body of text that I'm going to go ahead and type in here, and it's allowing me to type in with notes, and then later on I'm going to be able to add in some images and even hand-drawn pictures into the actual area of the note. Sliding up from the bottom of the screen is going to bring in our tool palette where we have a wide variety of tools that we can use. With our pen tool we can go ahead and draw anywhere on the actual note and make a little nice image by hand drawing with either our hand or a stylus. We can come back into the palette drawer and actually choose a selection of colors and change it to a water brush to where we can paint inside of the box we've just done. The highlighter tool will actually allow us to make thick bold lines and then the pen fountain pen tool allows to make thin stroked image lines here. With the paintbrush we can actually draw behind our image so we don't have to worry about overlaying any of the actual images that we've already drawn. It allows us to do it in a background layer in a sense. There are some stencils that are built in here with Notes HD that allow us to take our pen tool and actually draw a shape using the stencil here on the image. Right here you can see I'm making a straight line and I can even rotate it around using two fingers to pinch and zoom in and two fingers to drag it to where I can draw and then even bring it down to the stencil and actually draw a square image and you see as I'm tracing it with the pen it's not going outside of those lines. I'll come up here and I'll finish off the triangle that I was drawing earlier. Now swiping down just selecting a different tool automatically changes the stencil on the screen and then I can use this new stencil to go ahead and finish up what I was drawing earlier. Double tapping on the stencil will go ahead and put it back into your palette drawer. Using a paintbrush and a stencil I'm able to even draw and color in a shape and being that I actually already drew the black outline it's not going to overfill and I still have the nice beautiful color in the background. Coming back out I can make a new page and I can make multiple pages per page book and tapping and holding I can even rearrange all of the pages. So now hitting in the top left hand corner I can take a photo from my camera, import one from my library or Dropbox and Google Drive. So now that I've imported an image I can tap and rotate it with two fingers and when I'm ready to release that image I'll just tap and hit done and now the image has been placed inside my actual note. And again, I'll do another one, bring that in here, and then I'll use two fingers to rotate it, pinch and zoom it to make it larger or smaller, and then I can place it anywhere in the image I want to. Press done, and it's going to place the image in my note. Now that the image is in my note, I can bring up my palette and bring up a pen, and I'm able to actually draw over the image itself. So I can come out here and hand write some notes with either a stylus or my finger and then I'm even able to enter in a zoom mode where I can get in fine details to where I can actually do a one-to-one -one orientation so this is if I was actually writing on a piece of paper I can come in here erase what I was doing continue handwriting some notes and it's gonna make it a lot easier in these areas when you zoom in to get the fine details of things to get the fine details of letters or your name or anything that you're trying to write and again, using fingers or a stylus here is going to be really ideal when you're using the zoom method to write your words. Change my color and I'll use the highlighter to even make some of the words that I've written stand out a little bit. So that way when I save this note or show it to someone else, they're going to get the key highlight points of what I'm trying to, to convey. Or for my own personal use, when I come back, I'll see the key points that I was trying to remember when writing down these notes. Now if I bring in another stencil, we'll go ahead and select a stencil here in the palette. If I go to a new page, that stencil doesn't hide or go away until I actually put it away myself. 
Now this is stencil here is going to be great for actually drawing diagrams that you might need for a work circumstance. So Notes HD isn't just used for notes that you would want to take in school, but it can be useful in the boardroom or in a meeting room, anywhere at work that you're going to need to draw diagrams here inside the application. I can use even the edges of the stencils to actually get perfect lines and you see right here I can line it up and even get those nice little grooved corners to come along inside my shapes. So that way I can connect all these diagrams here for my final project notes. Now that I've got those shapes done, I'm going to use a thicker marker to actually draw an outline here and then use my yellow paint to actually color in the image here using the stencil so that way I'm not bleeding out any of my lines. Now that I've drawn this diagram, I can tap anywhere on the screen, bring in some text, and then format that text in any method I'd like to using the magic wand above the keyboard to go ahead and format and style the text I'd like to. And then tapping and holding on any of the text will allow me to move it around. And so I can place and position the text anywhere I'd like to inside these images that I've drawn. Another great feature with Notes HD is the ability to do collaboration. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new collaboration on my first primary device. And on the secondary device, so you see if I hit the collaboration tab, it now shows me my main iPad. And if I tap on that, it's going to load up the same note page you see here on my first iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and load in a photo, which is a great feature for Notes HD. I can choose from my camera, library, Dropbox, or Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and choose from library, select one of the photos that I've got. And now I can go ahead and drag it in here. You see I can pinch to zoom to rotate it around and then import it here and go ahead once I'm done, hit done. And now it's going to add that and you see on my friend's companion device, it's going to show the same image. So now if I go ahead and hand write some notes on one iPad, and then if I come over on my friend's iPad and actually pull up his palette and we'll go ahead and change the font and text color, we'll go ahead and uh, do space gray. Now you see it's reflecting on my main iPad as well. So I can actually circle different portions on here and highlight and make different notes and import images. And so collaboration is going to be a great way of actually doing things with your friends here in a note page. And so Notes HD is going to be a great option if you want to take handwritten notes along with some text and it's got great tools for you to use. If you like Notes HD, be sure and pick it up for your iPad today in the Apple App Store.